Am I overreacting to lack of communication? Too long didn't read, should I tell my boyfriend I get bothered by lack of communication sometimes? Hi guys. I, 27F, have been saying my boyfriend, 30M, for about 4 months. We have a great connection and we get along so well. Unfortunately we haven't seen each other in about a month. This being to him going out of town for the holidays for a few weeks and then I got COVID. While sick I mentioned to him that I would appreciate if we talked a little more and he gave me a phone call here or there. We primarily text. I'm a little upset because some days he'll go the entire day without talking to me. And it makes me feel like he doesn't care that much. I haven't heard from him since yesterday and it's bumming me out. I know I'm analyzing because I have nothing but time on my hands being isolated. But should I tell him this bothers me when it happens? I know we all get busy and wrapped up in things. Consistency is important to me. Booty don't want to come across as clingy but should I be honest here or get over it? Some people hate talking on the phone, I am one of these people. Try other ways to communicate, if those fail then you might have an issue. Also, make sure you are getting advice from people who have a long track record of having and later. I have been married 20 years and communication is something I'm not great at, that doesn't mean I love my wife any less. Holy crap. I think we're the same person. I'm dealing with something similar. When I had COVID we barely spoke at all except small talk, it really sucked. If I don't text my boyfriend or initiate the conversation, I probably won't hear from him for a couple days too lol. I really only see him about once a week, and I don't think he wants any more than that from me. If you haven't had the conversation yet, then tell him. If he minimizes your feelings then you can think about bigger decisions you have to make like breaking up or taking a step back emotionally. If there's anything he says that makes you end up saying sorry when you voice your concerns or feelings, then go. I hope things are going okay in your relationship. You deserve to be treated the way you hope and want. Tried to call him to talk about it but he didn't answer. Sent a text so now we shall wait and see. I'm worried at this point more than anything. If you feel like he doesn't care that much, he probably doesn't. If he cared, he'd make an effort to communicate with you more, especially after you directly told him that's what you needed. I completely understand this and have been in a similar situation recently. It might help to think about the time apart as a chance to do things alone you can talk about with him later. I'll sometimes read things and plan to discuss them later or find funny videos to send him. He's probably thinking about you even when you're not texting, but may not have anything to say, or might be distracting himself from missing you. If you do bring it up, I would also say you should bring some solutions, like how you want to stay in touch, if you want to watch the same show at the same time or something like that so it's not just a critic. Sorry though, I know this sucks. You have COVID. He should have been delivering you food, FaceTiming you, calling you and you should not have to ask. Listen, if at 4 months he's flaky and makes you question if he cares you, he's not the guy for you. You deserve someone who'll be super excited to talk to you, hang out with you. I had COVID and my girlfriend, who I had just started dating at the time, delivered food to me, did long 3 plus hour FaceTime sessions with me, texted me throughout the day. She made it obvious she cared because she put in the effort. I was so blown away by how caring she was, and it was her actions that solidified the fact that she was girlfriend material. If he's not putting in the effort, he's not good enough for you. Should I move in with boyfriend and his roommate despite my plans to live alone? I 29 f live in an expensive city and have had to endure roommates for years. I love my boyfriend and definitely see a future with him, we're pretty in sync and resolve most arguments quickly and without a lot of drama, etc. We were friends before and have been official for about one year. Currently we both live in separate three roommate households in the same neighborhood and both of our leases are up at the same time, March 1st. I'm burned out from roommates and I've decided it's time for me to live alone even though that will be a bit of a financial stretch. So far every studio I've looked at is missing a key amenity like an oven or bathroom sink, and I'm accepting I'll have to sacrifice something in order to live alone. My boyfriend has been planning on signing his current lease again. His spot is massive, has two bathrooms, a magnificent view of the mountains, and he's friends with his current roommates, 
L and J. Here's where the conflict comes in. Last week my boyfriend's one roommate J surprisingly announced he would not sign again, leaving his spacious and large studio sized room open. My BF has suggested I move in and we take that room, leaving his old room as a spare. My BF and L have less than a week to decide if they stay or go. Me moving in would be the reason they stay. I'm torn, it feels too soon to move in and I was ready to live alone for a bit. However his current place would be the same price as a shitty studio and it I wouldn't have to sacrifice any amenities and is close to work, I must walk or buzz. There would be a spare bedroom to retreat to if I need space, and BF has made it clear he will give me solitude if needed. Getting a one bedroom really isn't an option, too lazy to explain. I love him, and I'm basically friends with Elle as well. I'm not particularly worried about roommate conflict, for reference I'm so burnt out from roommates and eager to live alone because I've had horrible luck living with others. I've lived with a literal witch, I've lived with a girl who would steal, and my current roommates are filthy and the one has moved her boyfriend in free of charge, but I am worried I might get sick of my boyfriend if I'm waking up and coming home to him daily. We spend a ton of time together, about 5 days a week, and 95% of the time I miss him when we're apart, but I still like having my own place separate from him where I can just be totally alone from time to time and I enjoy sleeping alone on weeknights. This will be the first time either of us has lived with SO. Right now I'm leaning towards moving in, but I'm still hesitant. I would greatly appreciate advice, insight, etc. from the lovely folks of Reddit. Thank you all for reading my rambling, chaotic post. Too long didn't read, it feels like I'm between a rock and a hard place. I either get a small studio that will most definitely be missing key features, or I move in with my BF and our friends slash roommates and sacrifice some autonomy but gain a huge, nice, modern apartment for a good price. It feels a little soon to move in, but I feel if we will eventually move in together anyways. This is both of our first times living with a romantic partner. I would not share a room but I'd move into the spacious room and have your boyfriend keep his own space. Personally, I'd take the plunge into living with the BF. If you haven't seen or heard about any absolutely glaring issues with him slash his roommate so far, it's probably rare a huge one will pop up in the next year or so. It feels like you're going to spend most of your time at his place anyway if you get a sucky studio. Live on your own for a while. It's one regret that I have. I always lived with roommates and then moved in with my boyfriend, now husband. I really wish I had lived on my own for a while, had my own space that I could decorate any way I wanted. Not have to worry about anyone else in my space. Move into his spare bedroom, but nix his plan for him to move into the same bedroom with you. Tell him that you don't want rent to affect the relationship, that it's a simple matter to just switch rooms when you guys are ready for that step in the relationship, but you'd like to separate the renting and switching apartments from the taking the relationship to the next level. So basically you'd like to move into his apartment complex but live alone in your bedroom, and him in his bedroom, for a little bit longer, a month or two, and just gradually spend more and more relationship time together until you're ready to make it official and cohabitate. It sounds like you need your personal space. Rent the studio room, share amenities, pay your fair share of the rent, and then you have a space all to your own while still living with your boyfriend. My 23F boyfriend, 25M, is still friends with the girl, 27F, who tried to take him from me. Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. I'll try my best to make this short and sweet, so here it is. My 23F backslash, boyfriend, 25M backslash, and I got into a big discussion in December of last year about what was happening between him and a friend, 27F backslash, of ours. To give you a bit of a background on the situation, we have a mutual friend that I used to consider a sister. While my boyfriend and I were getting together, he would tell her all about the progress of our relationship and how things were going between us, so she knew that he and I were involved with each other. However, he's naturally someone that makes a lot of sex jokes and flirty jokes with people even though he says he never means them. The two of them talked a lot and she started catching feelings for him. Even though he told her he and I were together, 
She was still trying to make moves on him and get close to him. My boyfriend told me all of this, and she told him to keep it a secret. The thing is, he never really changed his behavior towards her and continued to lead her on and give her opportunities to get closer to him. This continued and we had a long discussion about how I felt like his actions were very inconsiderate of my feelings and how I felt like he didn't value me as much as he did her. I said I felt really uncomfortable with it. He agreed that he was in the wrong, and for a while, we left it at that. But then recently, he started playing Valorant with her and a couple other friends every single night. Now they have nicknames for each other and talk even more. Sometimes instead of spending time with me like what we planned, he ditches me for their group that includes her. He tells me they're just friends now, but I genuinely still feel so uncomfortable with them being together all the time. Truth of the matter is, I still haven't forgiven him, and don't see any reason to forgive her for what she did. My intentions towards her never held any malice yet her intentions of trying to take him from me were just so wrong, and I feel like I deserve to be angry with her. And she never even apologized to me and just acted like nothing happened. When he talks about their group, it physically hurts me. Last night, I told him why I was still so upset with her and he understands now why I don't want to be around her but knowing him he won't do anything about it and will just keep playing along. Too long didn't read, my boyfriend keeps hanging out with a girl who I told him I'm uncomfortable with because she tried to take him from me. Last night, I told him why I was still so upset with her and he understands now why I don't want to be around her, but knowing him he won't do anything about it and will just keep playing along. I understand that this hurts you and I won't let that stop me. How do these conversations keep ending here? He needs to agree to actually following up from these chats and changing his behavior to stop making you feel bad if he actually understands that this is how it's making you feel, surely? Your boyfriend is a cheater and he's gonna cheat on you. How many more signs do you need? It's great that you're enjoying your time with him but that doesn't change the quality of his character. He is not the man that you want him to be. I repeat, if you stay with this guy you're gonna get cheated on. A month ago you wrote, he has a history of infidelity and cheating, and used to sleep around a lot. You should peace out and let your soon to be ex-boyfriend get with your former friend. They deserve each other. Your post history says he has a history of cheating. Girl, dump him. You think he's gonna change just because he's with you? This home wrecker and known cheater should be together. Why did you leave that out in this post? You deserve much better. Seems he likes the attention. Her attention, that is. You see so many posts on Reddit of insecure people worried about their partner having a friend who is of the opposite sex. This is not one of those. A line has been crossed. If he is with you then he should be with you. This isn't just about him having a friend. No one should come before you. He and this friend have both overstepped these boundaries. This is so disrespectful to you and to this relationship. I'd kick them both to the curb and find a guy who respects you and treats you right. Someone who puts you first.